Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Got the big ass cards out. All right, let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. All right, let's see. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Okay. Um, in love with my friend. So someone is in love with their friend. It's a really good thing to be in love with. Okay. Could be looking at somebody like, yeah. Um, wow, very nice. Somebody's in a really nice relationship. Our chemistry is off the charts. So someone feels like not only is there love, but you are my friend. Like I I could talk to you for hours. Um I trust you. I can be vulnerable with you. I can be myself with you. So that's really good for somebody here. Let's see. What is going on for Aquarius? What is happening for Aquarius? Okay. All right. Here we go with the shit. Undeserving of real love. Somebody feels like they're undeserving of real love. Somebody is lazy as all get out. Lazy as F. Okay. You might have been in a relationship with somebody here who wasn't doing much in the relationship. They, they let you do all the work and they are undeserving of real love because they're lazy. They didn't put nothing into the connection, but they wanted everything out of it. And they may have even played games with you. You know, they made you fall in love with them because it was fun. What they need is spiritual awareness. They need an awakening, you know. Um, let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. This some is somebody who's low vibrational, um, toxic, karmic, all of that stuff, all of the above. It's just like they're not on what you on, and it's like it was trying to you were trying to commingle, marry the two. You know, they're just not on it. They don't want to be that. You know, they don't want to be vibing high and all of that. You know, they they're just not on it. They need to get some spiritual awareness. Let's see what else is happening for Aquarius. Someone got fired from their job. Okay. Or maybe even um, broken up from a relationship. Somebody broke up with them. Somebody got fired from a job. Being late, being tardy, uh, just having a low work ethic. Yeah, they cannot maintain a relationship. They don't do well one-on-one -on -one connections. This person doesn't just... Not only are they flighty in love, they flighty in every other aspect of life. Point blank, period. Oh, my um, camera is about to die. So, hang on. Let me get my... Um, what am I going to get? A battery. Okay, and we're back. All right, Aquarius. So, not only is somebody flighty and, you know, in love, they may be flighty with career, too. They just can't keep a job. They can't maintain a relationship, business relationships, romantic, platonic, friend. They just, this is somebody who, um, I don't know, this is extreme low vibrational this might even be somebody who has like mental issues that maybe they haven't really disclosed to you let's see what else so somebody feels like this is the best sex ever maybe they're really good at sex because they don't have anything else to offer sometimes you gotta keep that in mind like somebody like you know 
maybe you're really good at sex because this is the most valuable thing you have, you know. Uh, infertility issues. So somebody can't become pregnant, okay? Or somebody has infertility issues in terms of they can't make shit grow. Nothing. Their hair, a plant, nothing. Nothing in life that they have grows. It always dies. Um, I'm never getting a divorce, so you're dealing with somebody who may be lying to you and saying that they are, but this is what it, what it really is. You're never getting a divorce, okay? They may like you because you're a super independent lady. They don't have to give much to the connection um, outside of the D, outside of some drinks, outside of some fun times. You know, they don't have to, there's no obligation with you, you know? Um, you don't need anything. You're not needy. So it just makes for it makes it even more fun to be with you in this escapade. Somebody could be a cross dresser. Someone could be kind of um of two minds about their sexuality. Maybe they want a man, maybe they want a woman, they don't know. They go back and forth. Um someone could be uh in a same sex relationship, but one of the sex you know, um, they dress like maybe a woman, dress like a man, or, or they're assimilating, or I don't know. You know, they I, that just came up to me. That never came up to me. But so you've got the maybe there's it's a lesbian relationship. You got one party who wears dresses and dresses like quote unquote a girl, and the other one dresses like you know a man. So somebody's a cross dresser there, right? Um, not a big deal. We're gonna move on. Um, There could also be somebody who's like cross-dressing, I'm really back at it, like, <laughs> like in secret, you know, um, somebody might not be what you would term as gay or homosexual or lesbian. They like to wear the opposite sex clothes. Don't understand it, but that's not for me to understand, right? Somebody does not want children. I don't want children. Somebody just wants to travel with their boyfriend or their girl. So they want to have like this carefree romance. Somebody doesn't want the whole shebang, the um, responsibility, kids. And nah. They just want like travel, fun, hang out. Yeah, let's run away together. You know, maybe for the weekend. That's what they fail to tell you. It's going to be... Um, for the weekend, right? Let's run away together for the weekend. Um, Monday, I gotta be back at work and back with my wife, right? Yeah, somebody likes the romantic dinner, dinners. Yep, dinners. Um, someone likes the romantic dinners and hanging out and all of that, but like, they're not trying to make a commitment to nothing. Somebody is a druggie. They need help. Somebody really needs. Like new friends, like real friends. Someone's, um, somebody's got baby fever and the other person just doesn't want children. Point blank, period. So that's going to be a, a sticky situation. Um, let's see what else is going on for Aquarius here. Somebody's got baby fever. fever. Somebody doesn't want children. There's cross-dressing going on. Or someone's confused about their sexuality. Somebody just likes, you know, romance, romantic dinners, hanging out, traveling on the weekend, coming to see you, you see me. You know, it's carefree. I don't have a lot of obligation. This is this is what somebody likes. It's, yeah, the sun card. Someone likes a fun, childish nature, um, no strings attached type of relationship. You bring me a lot of happiness and contentment for the weekend. Yeah. There's an emperor, an older gentleman, maybe who feels that way. King of Pentacles could be same sex relationship with the Page of Wands. It's like um, Three of Swords. There could be an older gentleman who wants to hook up with you, but they hadn't talked to you in a long time. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to say to you. The Three of Swords. They don't want to miscommunicate. 
So they're trying to choose their words wisely. What's going on here? They're trying to explore how far they can get with you, but they don't want it, the communication to break down just as soon as they start. They don't want to say the wrong thing. Yep, the Knight of Wands, but this is what they're coming. They're after something. You know, once they get it, they'll be gone just as quickly as they came in. But they're going to stick around as long as it takes to get what they want. Yeah, you don't see this, then they hope that you don't see this with the um, Knight of, I mean, the, yeah, the King of Wands. Got a lot of. Aquarius, you might be on the brink of some success here. You got a lot of kings here. It says uh, business matter is going to be very successful for you. Some of you have more than one man or, yeah, man after you. Some of you are in same-sex relationships. You have an older gentleman after you. It could be just for sex. Looking to pluck you. Lord. Um, just, you know, looking for fun. It's like they just go around and, you know, pick up young guys if it's same-sex relationship. Somebody could already be married or in some type of obligation. Someone cut someone off. The same sex connection is just looking for fun in the sun, right? Can't make it up. Fun, travel, fun in the sun. That's what the same sex relationship is looking for. Maybe this opposite sex relationship. There's somebody saying, you know, they're coming back. They want reunion, reconciliation. They're trying to play their cards right. They're trying to say the right thing. Because if they say the wrong thing, it looks like the Aquarius woman is going to walk away. It's going to leave. You might be dealing with somebody with Libra in their chart. You have Libra in your chart. So it's like balance, fair. Maybe trying to be balanced and fair. Uh, not argue. It's like I'm trying to, you know, someone's trying to win you over. But I'm not, I don't want to hurt you or I don't want to play mind games or manipulation. What this person wants is you to make a decision on them quick. This might be the wrong decision though with the two of wands and the six of wands. Somebody wants, somebody's infatuated with the idea of having you back. Maybe like obsessed with your energy. They want to have you forever. Wow, these two cards, the cards I get when someone wants to string someone along, even like sexually forever. Yep, and it feeds you to sweet nothings. They definitely want to. Now they may be coming back and saying, oh, you know, you know I'm, I've gone on this journey. Nobody really fulfills me like you do. I miss you. I want you back. Um, I want to have more fun times with you. Seven, two of cups. The seven, nine of cups, they want to have fun, sex, queen of wands, sex. It's like five of wands. They don't want the drama, the headache, or they don't want to fight or argue. They just want you to accept the four of swords. They may even be wanting you to heal their dark night of the soul. They don't like being without you. They went out here in the world and thought that they were going to find somebody else better than you. They did not. They may want, yeah, something about your healing waters or healing, healing capacity. Working with you is best or being with you is best or having you as that girlfriend experience or boyfriend experience is best. Page of Cups. You could be feeling this person trying to pull on your energy with the high priestess. They may feel like, yes, this is like the best sex ever because love was involved in it with or from your side, Aquarius. Or vice versa. So something like it's the best sex ever because somebody loved that person. So if you feel like this person never really loved you, then you love them or vice versa. And the sex was better because they made you fall in love with them. 
these other people that they're out here in the world having sex with, it just feels like a transaction. It doesn't feel the same. They know that they're sleeping with somebody else and your person could be sleeping with somebody else. It's just like a, a run amok. You know, they're meeting people just like them. They're not getting the, this individual attention, love, care, devotion that they were getting from you. It's like they want you back because they, they need that energy. They need what you were feeding them. They not, they're not getting it anywhere else. What's the advice for Aquarius? Unlikely. It's unlikely that this person is going to change or give you what you want. A year from now, maybe things will look different. Your life will be different. You'll be over this. You can move on. Yeah, compromise. You can come to some compromise within yourself to move on. You can come to some balance. Recovery. You're going to recover all that was lost. It's an absolute no. We'll clarify the no. And what else do we have for Aquarius? Abundance. Keep getting that, Aquarius. More than enough is coming to you. Wow. In the near future, Aquarius. In the near future. So you get an absolute no here. What is this no for Aquarius? What is the no for Aquarius? No reconciliation. Three of Cups. Nothing's going to change. Yep, it's just going to be more debauchery, more fighting for this person affection, more lies, more manipulation, more sex, more scandal. Um, like no awakening, or no reawakening, or no awakening of the soul. This person doesn't have, like, no, they, they, they have not gone through like some deep soul awakening. No change with the Wheel of Fortune. No learning. They didn't learn from this. That no transition of their personality is still the same. No letting go of the chip on their shoulder, the heavy burden to carry. No letting go of hiding behind work and busyness and lying and taking advantage of you and putting you at a disadvantage and taking you for granted. No reunion, no compassion, and no forgiveness. Because this person is manipulative. And they're trying to manipulate a sexual encounter with you. An opportunity to grow or plant something with you. Yeah. But it's going to have no progression. And it might even end again. Because this person is going to be juggling. This is crazy. You got all these aces, so they want all these new starts with you, and nothing's going. Then they're gonna just—they really want to be alone. They really want to be a bachelor. They want to run in and out, hot and cold. They, you know, seven of swords here, and they got some deep-seated issues that you cannot fix, Aquarius. You could don't even try. They may even have like sexual addiction. Just infatuated with you. I have those other cards. Let's see. Oh no, not these. Sorry. Manipulation, King of Cups. This is somebody who has more than one person. And they're a weasel. I knew this was coming up. Deceitful. It's trying to they're slippery, slick, sly, a sneak. You know, they just there's no changing with them. It is what it is. Big payback. 
Maybe they got a big payback also. You know, for hurting you, the universe paid them back double time. That's what they got out here in the world, thought they would find somebody like you, better than you, or thought they found someone better than you. They got paid back, yeah. Page of Cups, they may have been dealing with somebody who was a fashion model, beautiful, young. This person had more than one person. They didn't want to make the commitment. Yeah, nasty white shirt. So it's like, um, this person was nasty to them. They got done dirty. Purple. Um, so I don't know, you kind of like um leveled up in your spirituality. You learned from this. You took all that you all that hurt and you turned it into something else. Yeah. All that suffering, you turned it into something else here. What else? You started to grow something. I don't know. There's some she devil here. This could even be if you're dealing with a masculine energy, a man. This could be like a man in feminine energy who don't have no hair in their head or has a lot of hair, but they're cunning, slick, sly, and one of the attributes of the feminine energy in lower vibration is to be cunning and deceptive so you might be dealing with a man who's cunning deceptive because he's in that nasty feminine lower vibrational feminine energy it's not for men to be cunning and deceptive you know like not by nature they're more so upright bold they take things by force if they need to they're not sitting back and devising plans of some cunning, you know, that's, that's like Lilith, low vibrational energy, like nah. So, so you might be dealing with somebody who's like in that feminine, catty, warmonger type of energy here, trying to figure out how they can pull you back in, yeah, how they can pull you back in, get you back on the string of women or men. Black, they got maybe like a black heart. Black, out of the dark comes the light. So it was like maybe they're attracted to you because you are in the light. You, know? you might be closed off to this though. You done with this. What's coming for Aquarius in the near future? It's just like you're done being hurt by it. It just doesn't make sense to continue with it. Let's see. Great fortune. I think we had it in a reverse last reading. Very nice. A gift, a big gift from the heavens coming to you, Aquarius. Near future for some of you are absolutely done with the BS and you're about to get all that you deserve. Wow, this card flipping out. Bad health, main male. So, um, some main male that wanted to keep some relationship sex only. What is this? Your enemies might be paying you back, though. Immunity. Somebody had it. More than one person dead. Coffin. Hmm. What is this? Privileged lady. Son of well. Gotta get some big money, Aquarius. People are gonna have to watch you really transition. Go from, you know, maybe playing the back, taking a back seat, and now um, they're gonna see you like on, like publicly, or they're gonna see you like level up. A big leveling up. You may have gotten some wise words of advice from some woman here. Somebody that you were dealing with for one to two years or maybe a, a little while longer. Maybe slipping into a deep depression because they don't know how to get you back. Yeah, they occupied on getting you back. But they're offering nothing. It's 
the most selfish thing ever. So whomever this is, they want you back. They want you back. They want you back. They want you back. And they want to give you nothing. Okay, so good luck with that. If you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website and book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by buying me a coffee. I do like coffee. Um, the link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. Um, and then also you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and if you're a business-minded individual, you can go ahead and connect with me via a discovery call to see if I can be of assistance to you to help you with your business endeavors. And if you want to be around other entrepreneurs each and every month, smashing your goals together, getting practical and spiritual advice, then go ahead and sign up for the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call. It's only going to be an addition to you. Nothing's going to be wasted. You're going to be so happy that you signed up for this. Okay? So many blessings to you. Thank you. Take care. And I'll talk to you soon.